good morning i am dr seema and today we will learn about ureter specific learning objectives of today's class at the end of the class students should be able to explain the definition course and parts of ureter then enumerate the relations constrictions blood supply nerve supply lymphatic drainage and applied aspects of ureter the ureters are a pair of narrow thick walled muscular tubes which convey urine from kidneys to the urinary bladder the peristaltic movement of the smooth muscles of the ureteric wall will be propelling the urine from kidneys to the urinary bladder and the oblique entry of the ureter into the bladder will be preventing the back flow of urine ureters are retroperitoneal structures that means they are closely applied to the posterior abdominal wall in the upper part and to the lateral pelvic wall in the lower part ureters are almost about 25 cm in length and 3 mm is its diameter course of ureter ureter begins as a downward continuation of renal pelvis at the lower end of the kidney then it passes downwards and medially on the psoas major muscle then it crosses the pelvic brim in front of the bifurcation of common iliac artery and enters the pelvis in the pelvis first it runs downwards backwards and laterally along the greater sciatic notch and once it reaches the ischial spine it moves forwards and medially to the base of the bladder then it pierces the bladder wall obliquely and enters into the suprolateral angles of the trigone parts of ureter ureter is generally divided into two parts abdominal and pelvic and each of these parts are having equal length that is about 12.5 cm the abdominal part of ureter extends from the renal pelvis at the lower pole of the kidney to the pelvic inlet or brim at the bifurcation of common iliac artery then the pelvic part of ureter extends from the pelvic brim at the level of bifurcation of the common iliac artery to the base of the urinary bladder relations of the abdominal part of ureter the posterior relations of right and left ureters are almost same it is related to psoas major muscle and tips of transverse processes deep to it and genitor femoral nerve in front of it and this also related to bifurcation of common iliac artery whereas when you see the anterior relations it differs from right side to left side on the right side the right ureter is related to second part of the duodenum right colic vessels iliocolic vessels right testicular or ovarian vessels and root of mesentery whereas the left side the left ureter is related to left colic vessels sigmoidal vessels left testicular or ovarian vessels and sigmoid mesocordon relations of the pelvic part of ureter the pelvic part of ureter crosses in front of all the vessels and nerves of lateral pelvic wall in male it is even related to vas deferens near the base of the urinary bladder where the vas deferens lie in front of the ureter and crosses it from lateral to medial side in females it is related to ovaries and it forms the posterior boundary of the ovarian fossa in females it is even related to the uterine artery near the uterine cervix where the uterine artery lies in front and above the ureter and this is one of the site where ureters get commonly injured during a hysterectomy constrictions of ureter the lumen of the ureter is not uniform throughout at certain places it is narrowed and they are known as the constrictions of ureter 
the first constriction is at the level of pelvic ureteric junction where the renal pelvis is becoming continuous as the ureter and it lies almost 5 cm away from the hilum of the kidney the second constriction is at the level of pelvic brim where the ureter crosses the common iliac artery then the third constriction is at the level of ureterovesical junction where the ureter enters into the bladder and these constrictions are having some clinical importance because these are the commonest sites where the ureteric calculi will be getting lodged and it will be obstructing the ureter blood supply of ureter the abdominal part of the ureter derives its arterial supply from renal artery testicular or ovarian artery then few direct branches from aorta the pelvic part will be supplied by internal iliac artery then superior and inferior vesical artery middle rectal artery and uterine artery venous drainage if you see the venous blood from the ureter is drained into the veins corresponding to the arteries nerve supply of ureter the sympathetic supply of the ureter is derived from t12 to l1 spinal segments through renal aortic and hypogastric plexus the parasympathetic supply of ureter is derived from s2 to s4 spinal segments through pelvic splanchnic nerves the sensory fibers travel through both sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves lymphatic drainage of ureter the lymph from the ureter is drained into lateral aortic and iliac nodes ureteric calculi are stones that form in or travel down to the ureters and if the lumen of the ureter is blocked by this calculi it will be producing severe pain which is known as the ureteric colic and this will be referred to all the cutaneous regions innervated by the same spinal segments as that of the ureter and the pain of the ureteric colic will be beginning from the loin and it shoots downwards and forwards to the groin and then into the scrotum or labium majus ureteric stent it's a thin tube that is placed in the ureter to drain the urine from the kidney one end of the tube will be inside the kidney and the other end will be in the urinary bladder and this is mainly used in case of ureteric obstruction radiological examination of ureter commonly the ureter is examined by a plain x-ray which is known as kub that means kidney ureter and urinary bladder the other way which is used is a contrast x-ray which is known as intravenous urogram or pilogram surgical approach to ureter ureter is a retroperitoneal organ and many blood vessels are related to it anteriorly and if you are approaching it transperitoneally then there are high chances of injuring this blood vessels so it is always better to approach it extra peritoneally from the posterior wall like that of kidney injury to ureter according to kensen and hinman the ureter may be injured during a surgical procedure at one of the following four dangerous site which is known as the dangerous sites of ureter the first one is the point where the ureter crosses the iliac vessel the second one in the ovarian fossa third one where the ureter is crossed by the uterine artery and the fourth one is the base of the bladder thank you and have a nice day